Enchanted is one of my favorite games of 2024. It has this Fable vibe, and while it is a survival game, it also sustains a little bit more predominance when it comes to the exploration kind of RPG elements. Uh, one thing that I do want to congratulate the developers for is that every time that you are away from the game and that you come back, your save files are still here, <laughs> so that is very much appreciated because that is something that it doesn't happen with every early access game other. So I do want to congratulate developers for, for that. Uh, the game has this massive, massive update that adds a whole bunch of different things that I want to give you the highlights in this small video so to, uh, that uh, you can decide whether or not you're going to jump back in. Uh, first and foremost, they added a little bit of a tweaking into the settings when it comes to your server. So if you're, for example, going to be playing with your friends or you're only going to be inviting someone from the internet that you do not know, you can decide whether if they're going to be just helpers, you're going to be uh, showing them your base rounds, maybe your friends have a little bit more of uh, permissions when it comes to building a base, maybe you want to add a, a, an admin in here that has all of the uh, permissions, so that is actually kind of nice. Now the biggest highlight of this big patch is this beautiful, beautiful area that you are seeing right here. This is the Black Mire, and it's a level 15 new area. So if you're a little bit overpowered like me, you're going to find yourself that the exploration should be really, really feel like a risk. But that being said, if you are still just leveling up, you are still uh, on a new server maybe, this is an, a, a level exploration area that you want to explore while you are level 15. One thing that I do want to add in here is that there are some items and some armor sets that you can get from the chest right here that will allow you to have an easier time on the later middle uh, areas of the game because of how much more diversity you have when it comes to exploration. When it comes to the aesthetics, it's just this beautiful, beautiful jungle. You have this uh, sunken ruins, you have vases on top of the trees. So exploring this place, it's just a massive, massive joy. One thing that I do want to point out, that I do want to mention, is that they still haven't managed to tweak performance that is to be... Uh, it is understandable, it is an early access game, so I'm guessing that they are still working on that. It's just that to me it's a little weird that uh, we're having like uh, dips on 20, tw the 28, 30 FPS's on a 4080, so that's something that still happens in here. Um, and but in, while the game doesn't have like the best graphics in the entirety of the world, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous game that I just sometimes cannot stop enough <laughs> to gaze in these beautiful, beautiful vistas that you have right here, especially um, these new areas. It's just a lovely, lovely joy to explore. One of the biggest highlights that I would like to also uh, mention in here, it's the new transmog system. So basically, you can have any armor that you want to have whenever you want to have it while still using the most powerful armor that you have available and mix and match them to your personal preference and taste this. You also have the option to hide your helmet as well. Not that the character models are the best in the world, they have like the, this specific kind of signature style to them, so that's nice as well. You can also hide clothes. But one thing that I want to mention in here, and this is something that I guess that it's going to be expanded, with time, is that alongside with this transmog system, you also have new craftable gear, which is purely cosmetic. And I can't stress enough how happy this makes me, because that means that uh, they are focusing on making this a in-game mechanic that you can expect for, for you to have at the, at the launch of the game, and just having pure armor sets just for the cosmetic parts uh, side of it, it just adds so much versatility when it comes to the fashion style of your character. Not that I'm a, the biggest fan of this cosmetic armor set that you have right here, but it's just that you have to have that in mind, that you are going to have cosmetic armor sets that don't necessarily play a major role on the gameplay section of the game, and it adds a little bit more versatility, you can be sure that since they don't have to balance, they can just focus on giving you more and more cosmetic items that are, of course, for free. So that's always appreciated.
There is a new quest line as well with a new NPC, the Vart, and of course you can expect that there will be some new craftable things right here. So for example, you can uh, complete the quest line, and as you complete the quest line you are going to be able to craft a little bit more things, and the uh, mod is also going to give you some weapons as well that you are going to be able to use uh, the explorer armor set it, actu it actually comes from her so that's something to be mentioned uh, one thing that they did add as well is a new weapon type this new weapon type it's when it comes it, it regards like the balance we'll talk about the balance not on, on its entirety because it would take it, it would take us like 30 minutes just speaking about balancing but uh, yes these daggers that you see me using right here they come from the Vard quest line and yes they are like level 14 daggers that when while, when you upgrade them you can get them all the way to towards level 19 they have 25 damage they have a nice parry power they are legendary they have poison they have cutting damage extra cutting damage they also have sneak attack so overall a nice nice weapon indeed but what are these guys for well that's what we're going to be speaking of next balancing uh, like I said, we're not going to be speaking about every single little nitpicky about balancing. I'm just going to give you the highlights, the patch notes are going to be on the video description so that you can uh, check what is it that you want to do with your builds. Mages, they have been nerfed, but they have, haven't been nerfed just for the sake of it. A lot of uh, exploits and infinite mana builds that you have out there that rely on kind of like I wouldn't say exploits, but things that weren't working properly, they are being tweaked as well. So there's there's that. Now the warriors. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention is that every single school tree for your bills has new skills. So for example, the warriors they have a uh, steadfast. Defeating an enemy with a melee weapon restores one durability to that weapon so that you can be fighting that much more time with your weapon. That's actually kind of nice. And this is something that they did with every single school. So every single school is going to have new skills. That's something that you want to check out. But for example, as well, with the warrior, they did mention that they want to tweak him a little bit. Some of the highlights that you have with the warrior is, for example, with the two-handed weapons. When you have your basic combos with your two-handed weapons right here, you will see that this a little bit more of a crowd control because of the AOE kind of attack that you have right here but if you delay the attack a little bit you will see that the animation changes into this kind of a overhead attack this is designed to fight against single target enemies and it's going to deal that much more damage to them opposite th than when you're fighting against uh, a whole bunch of enemies with the AOE kind of attacks that you have right here now when it comes to the Rangers uh, what they did is that, yes, they were very powerful when it comes to distance, but when it comes to melee, they didn't have, like, quite something that scales that much. They didn't have that many tools, and yes, distance is very powerful. But uh, now they have the daggers. Now, the daggers are going to be scaling off of dexterity. They scale their, their damage with dexterity, and there's also some skills that are going to be based on daggers. So you can now have a bow for example and have a ranger kind of build and for when things get like into melee range you can be using the daggers which like I said these daggers are some that you can get uh, on following the quest line for the VOD but one thing that you do have in mind that you do need to have in mind is that there's also daggers scattered all throughout the loot places that you are already familiar with all throughout the world so that's something that you can get as well anyways those are the highlights the game is just getting better and better and, I'm, and I just think that this game deserves more praise than what it has but uh, anyways, those are the patch notes. If you're feeling like hopping back into the game, you can maybe join my Discord server. I can play with you probably. I'm going to be playing a little bit with, with this thing. Just the updates are amazing. Join the Discord, like the video, subscribe to the channel. No, tell you that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. Have a lovely, lovely day. Goodbye.